everyone, my name is Sophie, and today I'm going to do an in-depth demo of our ProShot Case app. While our app is simple to use, I strongly recommend getting familiar with it before your first time in the water. When you download our app and open it for the first time, it'll ask you for some permissions. You must allow all permissions in order for the app to function properly. The tutorial will pop up too when you first open. You can click yes, or you can activate it again from your settings. In order to interact with your ProShot Case app, you'll be using solely your volume buttons. Volume down cycles through your modes and volume up activates your mode. By clicking it on a mode, it'll start it. Notice the video will change green as soon as you've started your video. And when you click volume up again, video stops and your colors will change back to red. Now I'll show you how to zoom in and out with our app. On any action mode, you long hold volume down or up to zoom in and out. Volume up will zoom in in 0.5x increments and volume down long hold will bring you all the way back out even to wide angle mode. From here, you click your volume up short quickly to activate the mode again. Your zoom amount will stay when you switch between modes. You can zoom in and out on any of our action modes. Go to your app settings in order to see the options you have for your footage. All of your camera modes are here under select camera modes. I'm going to show you how every single mode works by turning them on and going back to the camera screen. Our camera modes are action modes and camera setting modes. An action mode means you'll take footage in that mode. All action modes have a red circle down here to indicate that that mode will capture footage. To capture footage in the mode, you click the volume up button once and click it again for it to stop. We'll cycle through. Here we have our slow-mo option. Again, volume up starts and stops. We have time-lapse, timer, and these are all action modes. Then we'll get to selfie cam. Selfie cam is a camera setting mode. Notice the button turned to white. That means it does not actually take footage in this mode. It changes your camera settings. Here, I'll click volume up to switch to my selfie cam. Hello. But from here, in order to actually capture footage, I'll click volume down until I get back to an action mode. Notice the button here is red. So I can take a photo by clicking volume up. Hi. And then I'll shift all the way back to my selfie cam mode in order to switch back to the forward facing camera. Another camera setting mode that we have is called sleep mode. Sleep mode is activated same as the other modes by clicking your volume up, hovering there. You'll notice sleep mode will turn off your screen's brightness and all other background activity to save battery when your case and phone is not in use. Now I'll explain our settings. Underwater mode is really only necessary for ProShot Touch users. That will disable your touch screen from reacting to any inadvertent touch. Bright sun mode is very helpful to see your screen on a bright sunny day. Record in 60 frames per second will record your videos in higher quality. You'll just turn this on in order to activate that mode. Record in 4K, similar to 60 frames per second, will record your videos in 4K. And for advanced photographers, you can turn on raw photo and wide gamut color in your advanced settings. At the moment, raw photo is only available for photo, not videos. You can click the info button next to any mode in order to learn more. If you need a refresher for how to use the app, you can turn on the app tutorial right here and click back and the app tutorial will automatically open here on your camera screen. When I use my app with my ProShot case, I make sure to turn on airplane mode and Wi-Fi off. I turn my screen brightness all the way up and then I go to my settings, camera modes, and only activate the modes that I plan to use for that dive. Personally, I like photo, video, slow motion, and sleep. And once in a while, I also like selfie. We are constantly improving and updating our app, so please make sure you have the latest version downloaded onto your phone. If you have any awesome app ideas or feedback, we'd love to hear from you please reach out to us via our website.
Take care.